Welcome to the ViewPlus video on making tactile graphics and charts using Tiger Software Suite. This is a very simple data table showing monthly expenses split between utilities and wages. This type of information is shown well in pie charts. To create a pie chart, from this data simply select the data, go to Insert, Charts, and select pie chart. The chart showing the selected data will show up in our current worksheet. You probably want to change the chart title. I'm going to select the font in cell A1 and paste it as the chart title. The chart is floating on this current worksheet. The most important step for TSS to be able to translate the chart to Braille is to move the chart to its own worksheet. Therefore, select the chart area and call Excel Move Chart command from the right mouse click context menu or from Excel Chart Tool Designs ribbon, call Move Chart. We'll bring up a dialog box asking you where you would like to move the chart. Select New Sheet. You can confirm by pressing OK. Now the new sheet was created containing the pie chart. You can switch between worksheets by using the tabs at the bottom of the screen. Sheet 1 is the original worksheet. Chart 1 is the new worksheet containing the pie chart. Now the chart can be translated to Braille using the Tiger add-in. You will find the TSS translation commands in the Tiger add-ons menu before calling the command to translate the worksheet to Braille, make sure the formatter settings are adjusted according to your user preferences. To open the formatter settings, click the Open button under Profile Settings. This will open a dialog window. If you have worked with Tiger in Microsoft Office Word before, you will notice the dialog box looks the same. At the top, you will notice three tabs, Braille Settings, Page Layout, and Document Settings. Under Braille Settings, you will find the options for Default Language, Default Braille Type, and Default Translate Font. We are selecting English for Default Language. We are also selecting Grade 1 for default Braille type. Now we are ready to convert the document. Go to the Tiger menu, click Translate Document. There will be a command prompt asking if you would like to translate all the sheets in the workbook. Go ahead and click Yes. When the document translation finished, TSS will have created two more sheets for every worksheet that was translated. The names will be like the original names with Braille and ink added to it. You can still fully edit the file. If you notice that some detail is missing within the translated version, or the original sheet has some errors within the text that needs to be corrected, it is possible by simply deleting the Braille and ink sheets making the change to the original sheet and translating it again. I will make changes to this by adding labels to the pie chart. By default, the labels are placed inside of the pie chart. I am going to move these labels outside of the pie chart to make it easier to translate. Once the document is formatted the way you would like, go ahead and click Translate Document again. This will prompt you to translate the entire workbook. Now that the document has been translated, you can view the Braille layout as well as the ink layout on the chart. If you'd like to make changes without starting over, you can make changes to the Braille page of the chart and then clicking Refresh Ink Page. 
This will update the ink page to reflect the changes made on the Braille page. You can continue making changes to the Braille page. The ink page will not update until you click Refresh Ink Page. If you try refreshing the ink page while the ink page is selected, it will prompt you to select the Braille page first before updating the ink page. You can print this document to file using our print to file feature. To do this, you will need to save the document first and then click on the file menu and go to print. Printing to file will allow you to print the document to a PRN file to see what it looks like in Tiger Designer before actually printing the document. Currently, I have this set up using the Rogue Sheet as the model printer, so this will print a file as if it was the Rogue Sheet. We are going to print the active sheets only. When printing to file, it asks you what you would like to name the PRN file that you are making. We are going to call this file chart1. I have selected to save this to my documents. So once the save is complete, we can open the My Documents folder to view the file and open in Tiger Designer. Within Tiger Designer, one of the first things I have noticed is that some of the slices of the pie chart are difficult to tell where they are because of the contrast of the colors in the original document. Notice here, these two slices of pie are very difficult to tell the difference between. We can go back into Excel to edit our chart to make this easier for Tiger Designer to translate. When creating tactile graphics, one of the easiest ways to ensure your tactile graphics are easy to read is by picking colors that have a high contrast ratio compared to each other. When creating tactile graphics of charts and graphs, it is best to pick colors that have a high contrast ratio to each other. This may take a little bit of work to find the right color combination but this will ensure that the tactile graphic has a wide enough variety in colors that the tactile graphics are easy to differentiate the different parts of the chart easily. For this chart, I decided to pick a dark blue, a medium blue, and a light yellow. These colors represent a wide variety of contrast, so the translation will show up very well. After opening chart1.prn, the difference between the first version and the second version is drastic because of the high contrast of colors that we picked for our chart. If you'd like to differentiate the pieces of the chart even more, you can select through several patterns that we have pre-made, or you can make your own with our pattern editor tool. Also, Tiger Designer comes with many beneficial tools that you can use to clean up your tactile graphics. Here I am using a selector tool to select the borders that are pre-made around the chart and then delete them to clean up the tactile graphic. After the tactile graphic has been created, if you would like to make additional changes, you can use many of the tools in Tiger Designer to update your tactile graphic. For example, I'm using the selector tool here to select the lines that connect the labels to the chart. Once they are selected, I can delete the lines and move where the labels are placed on the page. 
for various reasons, you may want to update your tactile graphic, and Tiger Designer will allow you to do so. Thank you for watching how to use TSS to make tactile graphics and charts. Make sure to check back for more how-to videos with your ViewPlus embosser. If you do not see a video that you are looking for, please feel free to let us know.